When you have developed an understanding of uh, your buyer persona and their preference for social networks, it is important to try and understand what is the best way for you to engage in those social networks. The reality is that most individuals will be uh, active on one social network on a regular basis and then two, three or four or even more than this on a sort of ad hoc or whenever they, they become sort of uh, aware of certain content on those networks. So, for business point of view, it presents itself a challenge whether you will have to develop, say, a very high pro profile on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn or any other network. Our recommendation is try and develop the most important uh, presence on your social, for your social media on your website and that is through your blog. Yes, it is good for you to be developing a presence on Facebook and it is good for you to develop a presence in Twitter. But the reality is that not all pages are accessible for all countries. And for example, if you are trying to reach out to a Chinese audience, you will realize that uh, certain networks uh, are forbidden in that country. And therefore, the content that you publish in those would be preventing you from uh, reaching out to those buyer personas. So therefore, if you were to use your blog as the main channel for amplification, you are standing a much better chance for driving individuals to come to your site through all the different social networks. And you can still develop the networks there, but just to amplify the content that's on your blog, rather than something that is uh, the primary engagement with your audience. So we research the different social media channels by uh, basically a test and refine strategy. So there are different channels and different ways of being able to interact with candidates appearing you know, on a weekly and a monthly basis. And it's important that you test each of these different channels, perhaps with a very small budget, to find out if the response rate is right, if the engagement is right for your business to make that commercially viable in the long run. So in the marketing department that we have at The Candidate, we try our best to trial the different channels that exist um, and see if there's going to be any conversions further down the line. The problem is that there are so many new online pieces of software and portals being produced that it takes a long time to go through them all. So perhaps a word of mouth or some research online to see the effectiveness of the new channels will help you get to the point of identifying those that are commercially uh, viable um, quicker. Uh, again, we, you can use social uh, listening tools and identify um, where the traffic is coming and what they are uh, thinking about your, uh, your brand. There are many lessons that we've learned from digital marketing of our business. Digital has taught us to be authentic both in our offline and online business. Simply retweeting is not enough. It's not the quantity that pays off, it's the quality. Creating your own content which adds value is what makes your digital campaign successful.